Hey guys, got a new light to review today from Mars Hydro. It's the FCE 1000, uh, so-called because it's a thousand watts, so it's a big, big light. It's six foot by four foot in size and designed to hang over rolling tables with high um, power intensity and therefore for CO2 supplementation. It is an extendable unit, so you can set it up in a four by four size with 1000 watts with all 10 bars in that shape. And you can also set it up in this six foot by four foot configuration and increase the distance between the bars to spread it over a larger area. With this model, I also got the Mars Hydro UR45 bar LED bars. They are uh, UVA and IR bars, which can be attached onto this model to give um, supplemental UVA and IR over the grow area. So the fixture comes disassembled. You mount the LED bars onto these beams. There's two sections of beams. First section is about four foot long, this section here. As I said, you can mount all 10 bars on just this, um, this part itself. But then you have these extension pieces that add on and just screw into place and that creates the six foot by four foot platform. Each of the LED bars is connected individually with this wiring from the LED driver to the LED bars and quite long cables there. So you can mount the LED driver either on the back of the fixture or also mount it remotely. The LED driver has the integrated dimming station for manual dimming on board. But you also have the daisy chain connections and Bluetooth connection to the Mars Hydro app so you can con control it through the app uh, remotely. The LEDs in the FCE 1000 are bridge lux and they're a mixture of 5k and 3k so cool white and warm white um, LEDs along with 660 nanometer reds. Overall spectrum output when tested was 3.5k color temperature approximately. I also tested the UVA and far red bars and you can see that um, spikes um, in the spectrum output. So I tested the FCE 1000 on its own without the uh, UR45 um, UVA and IR LED bars on it and just the power light on its own in a 4x4 at the recommended 12 inches at 30 centimeters hanging height. This is with reflective walls. Power consumption was 995 watts and the average power was 1668 micromoles. So definitely a CO2 light in this setup. Uh, efficiency, system efficiency of 2.44 micromoles per watt. I then tested the same power output, so all the 10 LED bars again, but this time with the extension pieces, so the fixture over a six by four, so same 995 watts. And in this case, the average power was 1,172 micromoles. Again, getting into that level of requiring uh, supplemented CO2 and the system efficiency at 2.45 micromoles per watt. UR45 then bars then it tested them on their own and in a six foot by four foot space um, the, um, with the UVA only so testing it with the Apogee S200 um, UVA and UVB sensor you get an average UVA reading of 13 watts per meter squared over the uh, six foot by four foot space. With regards to the IR channel then, um, I tested this with the um, uh, EPAR sensor, so measuring just the uh, PAR up to 750 uh, nanometers EPAR range and 16 watts consumed from the infrared channel and um, uh, an average uh, PAR our EPAR of 13 micromoles per meter square per second. That's an efficiency of 1.74 uh, micromoles per watt or P usable PPFD per watt just in that infrared channel. So this is a really big fixture with really high power output, definitely best suited for commercial type applications where you're growing over uh, tables and trying to minimize the numbers of fixtures that you need for simplicity's sake. But it's got all the features you'd want in terms of high efficiency, um, 
daisy chain control and remote control uh, of the fixtures. And you've got the added um, feature of being able to add on the UR45 UVA and IR bars to supplement the, um, the spectrum for your different stages of growth. This is the FCE range, so in the budget range of their fixtures, and um, it means that it's got a really good price. So check out the links below to the Mars Hydro website to see the, um, the prices on this model, which are really good value. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and take care.